How's it going, everybody? My name is Cole Peterson, and we are back at Offline Performance for a quick tech tutorial or even just a uh, tech overview of a few of the products we're very happy with and uh, that we sell and use here at Offline Performance. Uh, we are going to be discussing uh, the full range of Haltech's uh, ECUs, uh, PDMs, and their displays, as well as a few accessories that you can be running with some of that equipment. And uh, well, let's just get jumped right into it. Um, I've been working with Haltech for an extremely long time. My uh, very first 240SX project when I was 16 years old actually had a uh, Haltech ECU. Quite a bit of experience uh, working with them and um, of course we are a dealer for them here at Offline Performance and I run them in almost all my cars exclusively. So right away we're going to talk about the um, Haltech IC7 display. Um, this is going to be basically you know your go-to option for a display that you can run in any sort of uh, vehicle. So whether you're connecting this uh, via OBD2 port um, to a stock ECU, wiring it in directly, or running it a uh, CAN bust through different ECU options, and also, of course, through Haltech's ECU lineup as well. This display is completely customizable to pretty much show whatever you want and also to look however you like. It comes with a USB stick with uh, their own software that is gonna be customizable with this um, display and um, you can change everything down to the color, font, anything that you see fit. Um, I love these. I run them in my ARC7. I have it in my R32 Skyline. And essentially, it just offers a very refreshing and fast feedback display than what you're gonna get uh, with a lot of other stuff on the market. Um, I'm not gonna mention any other names or competition, but this display has always been the fastest response that I've seen for actual data acquisition. And uh, it runs really good and it looks really nice. So I suggest getting this and also uh, purchasing a built-in uh, customizable dash basically that replaces your factory cluster. Um, of course, you can mount this pretty much anywhere, uh, but great tool and also the price you can't really go wrong with. Obviously with Haltech, we have to mention their ECUs. Uh, we carry their full range of ECUs, whether it's down to the Haltech Elite 1500, all the way up to the Nexus R5. Um, let's go over a few of the options there within that range and um, talk about what's good for your setup. So starting at the entry level position, we have the Haltech Elite 1500. I consider this basically the least amount of ECU that you'll need for pretty much any project and it will be completely upgradable um, for whatever you need to really add to your car. So you can run, um, I believe, up to eight cylinders with these. And um, I typically run these on a four cylinder application. Uh, it can run drive-by wire. It has a bunch of inputs and outputs that you can have pretty much all sorts of stuff with. They have all the fun motorsport functions such as rolling anti-lag, um, launch control, a little bit of trash control, and uh, you know all the safeties that you'll need for whether you have a street car or a race car. So the Haltech Elite 1500, it also comes in a nice waterproof case. So you can essentially put this in your engine bay if you'd like to. Um, and they have, of course, the mil-spec waterproof connections. Right here, you have your power light. That's gonna show, obviously, if the ECU has power. And you have your status light, and that's gonna be, whether, whether it's gonna be flashing or the type of color, is gonna show you the status of the ECU, whether it is communicating or anything like that. So just a few things immediately when you're wiring the ECU, it'll show you exactly what's going on. And of course, you have a four pin Deutsch connector. That's gonna be a CAN bus extension or an external extension. So if you're gonna be running the IC7 or any keypads or anything like that, all you'll need is that four pin Deutsch and you can actually run quite a few components in daisy chain through that system. Whether you have a wideband controller from them or the uh, IC7 display or a keypad or anything. And then right here is your USB COM port and that's just gonna be included in the package, a nice yellow Haltech cable. So you can communicate with this ECU, do all your tuning or data logging or anything like that. Now moving on, of course, you can't talk about ECUs without having a PDM. What a PDM is, is a power distribution module. Um, the Haltech has their product and it's called the PD-16. 
Um, that is going to be what you'll use for the Haltech Elite and the PD-16 if you would like to wire it completely standalone into a car and um, set up all your own um, high voltage or high amperage inputs and outputs. Uh, the PD-16 is relatively affordable into the market. Um, and then along with that, we have to mention their new line of ECUs because it is considered a VCM. So right here is the Nexus R5 and you'll notice these very large uh, battery ports that are on the ECU. What that's gonna be doing is actually running your battery directly to the CCU. Now, why do you need that? Because it has a built-in PDM. So unlike a lot of stuff on the market available right now, this ECU, this one box right here that I'm holding, can run an entire car, whether it's a street car or motorsport application. You pretty much can get away with almost anything with this one module right here. So when we're talking about cleanliness of setups, wiring, uh, simplicity, or anything like that, this is probably gonna be the end all be all or the top of the line when it comes to what you can get on the market right now. I highly suggest getting one of these if you are thinking about upgrading past something like the Elite or you're upgrading from an older version of, of a different ECU and uh, need the capabilities of also having a built-in PDM. So with a built-in PDM, you can run a lot of stuff that requires a lot of amperage, whereas uh, a normal ECU wouldn't be able to control that stuff. Uh, stuff like variable speed um, uh, pumps like Air Motive 5.0 or um, any other high amperage motors or anything like that, this ECU can control all that on the go. And of course, you can be running a whole car like lights, turn signals, fans, all that sort of stuff can be ran directly through this. That way you eliminate a lot of the relays and everything that you would be having on a car. So essentially, this is the hot stuff. You have right here 12 8 amp outputs and you have four 25 amp outputs. So, Right here, this big four pin Deutsch right there, that is your 25, um, your 25 amp output. So like I was saying before, I would be running pumps off of this, stuff that draws a lot of current and requires a lot of current. All your other stuff, the eight amps, you can run almost an entire car off of. I mean, you have 12 outputs to run the whole car. Honestly, if you have a race car, you can get away with pretty much most of the car with just this. And obviously if you need more outputs, um, pairing this with a PD-16 is gonna get pretty much everything done for you on the car. Um, of course, you have a bunch of different options when you buy this, whether you can buy it with all the plugs, with the pins, or you can get a universal flying lead harness. So, um, you know, you can get pretty much whatever sort of thing that you want, whether you are a weekend warrior and wants to just do a nice like, uh, um, terminated harness, like terminate your own harness or anything like that. Or if you'd like, you can just get the plugs and then wire it into your existing harness. So a bunch of different options there. Um, very cool unit. We'll be using it on a bunch of different projects coming up. So I'm very happy about this. And of course I can't, men or, or I also need to mention that they just came out with the R3, which, you know, going by the name, R5, R3. The R3 is a more compact, smaller version of the R5. Um, they both use the same, it's the same idea. They both use the same software. They just have a difference of outputs. So the R3 is gonna have less outputs. So that's pretty much all you need to know about that. Along with that, um, speaking of software, the Haltech software has switched completely to the Nexus software. So when the Haltech R5 came out, they came out with a new software that was developed uh, by them. And for a while, the Nexus software was exclusive to the Nexus ECU or VCM itself. So um, now they updated everything. And for a while, this has been a thing, but the, all the Haltechs that you'll buy right now, um, they, will be, they come with the Elite software on it, uh, but you can upgrade its, their firmware and switch it to the Nexus software. And I highly recommend that because it has a lot of really cool options in that software that make tuning a lot easier and a lot more control. So whether you are a tuner, um, a mechanic that wants to learn how to tune, or you uh, simply just wanna give your, your tuner a, a more control and a more enjoyable experience when tuning your car, uh, Haltech pretty much has you covered on that. And then, of course, 
we got to talk about some of the accessories that you can get uh, from Haltech as well. Uh, right here, we have the DC motor driver. So this is DCMD. Uh, what that's going to be really useful for, uh, if you're using the Elite 1500, this will actually drive um, a lot of the, uh, well, I guess there's really only one uh, specific thing I can think of. So this can actually drive the uh, electronic wastegates that we're starting to see pop up on the market. So normally you would need to have some sort of DC motor driver or a controller. Um, this is actually with Haltech and you can plug this in directly and is a, um, a four pin Deutsch. So just wire it in and uh, it's pretty awesome. This specifically, I believe, runs off of a CAN bus integration. So all you need to do is daisy chain this into your um, uh, Haltech um, four pin and you'll be good to go. Other than that, we also have a few terminated engine harnesses that are available. Uh, currently, we'll be running our RB20 and RB25 uh, terminated engine harness. So any sort of RB25 that you have swapped into any car. If you wanna just run the ECU by itself and uh, keep the car as a race car or run the body modules on that said car by itself, um, you can have the whole RB25 terminated harness um, done into your car. And so what that includes is an actual fuse box with relays and everything like that. And you just need to set up your power, ground, a start signal, ignition, ignition source, I should say, and you can run your uh, starter wire directly from your ignition solenoid to your starter. So that comes in a nice little backpack that you can get from them. Um, and of course it comes with everything that you need to get a car running by itself. So essentially if you had this whole, in your whole engine outside of the car on an engine stand with fuel and everything needed to get an engine running, you could wire this in put 12 volts to it and start the engine. So I've run this on my actual, actually on my RX-7. Uh, my FC RX-7 runs on a 1500 ECU and this has that whole harness in it. And you know, it's nice because you have a full harness and you don't have to make something yourself. It saves quite a bit of money. And especially if you are already good at wiring, this is just a great starting point. It's already well thought out and organized and you have to make little to no modifications to make these work. So, of course, there's quite a few things that I'm not mentioning in this video. And if you'd like to see Haltech's full lineup, of course, you can check our website to see everything that we have to offer. And right now I'll actually be putting a code up on the screen right here. Use this code at offlineperformance.com and you can get 5% off of your order of anything Haltech related. So if you wanna get a whole ECU wiring package done for your car, you can use that code, get a Elite in there, get a PDM, even get an Nexus R5 if you wanna do all that stuff, 5% off your whole Haltech order. Now that doesn't apply for if you have other stuff into your car, but everything on Haltech will be taken 5% off and uh, it's just one thing that I wanted to get some more people running these products because I'm very passionate about them and they are awesome stuff. I run them in almost all of my cars exclusively and uh, they've been nothing but good to work with and I'm very happy about their quality and their customer service is top notch. Of course, if you've bought Haltech stuff from us before, you can reach out to us if you need any support and we also offer tuning in-house and installations in-house. So if you need any of that done, you can just hit us up. Um, you can send us an email at sales at offlineperformance.com. If you have any tuning questions, you can reach out specifically to me at cole at offlineperformance.com. That's my email. And of course, uh, I think I covered pretty much everything. You guys can leave some comments down there. If you have any questions, you know, just let us know. Uh, we'll happy to talk things out and uh, get everything going for your car. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.